Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Massive news Sunday night for the USC fans out of the transfer portal as former Vanderbilt defensive lineman Nate Clifton commits to the USC Trojans. Really exciting get. Top 50 player overall in the transfer portal. The fifth best defensive lineman available according to 24-7 Sports. Doing a little prep work on Nate Clifton, getting familiar with his game. A couple things that stood out. One, 280 pounds. Maybe some USC fans having some question marks about how Nate Clifton is going to hold up on the inside of that defensive line in the Big Ten. I'll tell you what, buzzing a little bit of the film against Kentucky, uh, Nate Clifton plays much bigger than 280 pounds, wins at the point of attack consistently. And then you take a look at some other numbers, 621 snaps for Nate Clifton on that 2023 season. That was the most out of any defensive player for Vanderbilt. And that kind of speaks to, what the coaching staff thought of Nate Clifton, a guy that they did not want to have lead the field very often, productive player in the SEC, extremely solid in the SEC. You feel good about him making that transition to the Big Ten before we get more into Nate Clifton. Then talk about a few other transfer portal targets for the USC Trojans. Just want to say thank you to you guys and a special shout out to the USC fans. The amount of fight ons in the comment section and all the support you guys show the boys. It's absolutely amazing this is a program obviously i've loved talking about cannot thank you guys enough for rocking with the fellas if you do enjoy the content consider subscribing to the channel and i'm going to be doing my best to keep you guys as updated as possible with all the roster moves for the usc trojans it's going to be a busy next couple of weeks for usc and without further ado let's get into nate clifton again a couple numbers you look at the production in 2023 for nate clifton in the sec Seven and a half tackles for a loss, five and a half sacks. He has 37 career starts. So you're getting a guy that's played a lot of football in the SEC and had a relatively high level. And there's a reason that Auburn, Washington, South Carolina all sent offers out to Nate Clifton. He is a player that's going to be contributing to this defensive line. Played a ton. Another number that kind of stood out to me. 1.9 yards of average depth of tackle. This is a guy that wins at the line of scrimmage, does not get moved off the line of scrimmage, really strong at a point of attack. And again, 280, watching the film, I'm not too concerned about Nate Clifton standing up on the inside of that defensive line. And another thing, the versatility. You know, like this is a guy that started his career playing edge. In 2022, was kind of exclusively an edge player. Bumped on the inside in 2023. He has that ability to play the three tech, play all the way out to the five tech. And the versatility in this Dantlin defense is going to be a massive commodity. Right. One of the biggest changes you're going to see from Alex Grinch to Dan Lynn is a lot of different looks and using the personnel in a lot of different ways. And for a guy like Nate Clifton to be able to play on the outside, to be able to play on the inside is a massive asset in this USC defense. And also just continues to build some depth. Like we talked about it. Yes. Would we all be thrilled if Walter Nolan winds up a USC Trojan? Absolutely. But if you're asking me, I'd rather have four or five Nate Cliftons in the transfer portal than just one Walter Nolan. You look at the blueprint, and this is something we've talked about extensively. Like one of the biggest problems you saw from USC is just kind of a lack of depth on that defensive line. Guys getting tired, not really having a ton of confidence in your two and three deep. Some of the best defensive lines, it's not necessarily about the star power. It's about having guys that you can rotate in and out through the duration of a game, through the duration of a season. And Nate Clifton is just going to add to that depth on the USC defensive line. Really, really exciting get for USC. And I would expect them to hammer the defensive line position. This is probably not the only defensive lineman we're going to be talking about, but a guy we talked about a couple of weeks ago as emerging as maybe a phenomenal target for USC to go after in the portal or able to get it done. A few other targets that I want to just talk, talk about one going to the high school class real quick. J Jody Abasiri committed to the Minnesota golden Gophers from the state of Minnesota Trending to the USC Trojans, and this is a guy that 6'5", 290, these are the type of bodies you want USC to get, especially moving into the Big Ten, right? We're not only concerned about 2024, but you're trying to build this program to have sustained success in the Big Ten. 6'5", 290, coming out of high school, these are the kind of guys that you want to be getting into this USC program, getting developed by year three, year four, year five. These guys are going to be contributors. For this USC defense, this would be a massive get for USC as they look to close out this 2024 class. And a couple transfer portal targets that are really exciting me. 
going to Achille Arnold from Oregon State. This is a guy that has played a ton of football in his career at an extremely high level at Oregon State. You want those kind of guys in this USC defense. Taking a look at Achille Arnold, really, really good in coverage and really disciplined, right? We saw so many blown coverages to get a guy that's played as much football as Achille Arnold in the back end to kind of mitigate some of those blown coverages is going to be massive. On 35 targets faced in 2023, only gave up 19 catches. And so you're getting a safety that's really, really good in coverage, can get his hands on a lot of footballs, three pass breakups, two interceptions, really impressive numbers at the safety position. And it, as someone who's watched a lot of Oregon State football and has talked a decent amount of Oregon State football, I know fans <coughs> were really excited about Achille Arnold and what he can do in that back end. The number two safety in the transfer portal class emerging as a top target for USC. The last guy I want to talk about, and one of my personal favorites here, going out to Western Kentucky and talking Upton Stout, a guy that my Michigan Wolverines are also looking at. 5'9", 185, and yes, a little bit small. This guy is an elite nickel defender. And you look at tackle rate, 8.36. And this is a guy that makes a lot of tackles around the football. You kind of really, again, going back to the conversation we had about versatility. Upton Stout, a guy that can play kind of that deep safety role, can play that nickel role, can play a walk-in safety. He's really physical in the box, extremely good in man coverage. The last two years, five interceptions, 10 passes defended, the number three cornerback available in the transfer portal. Also taking a look at USC. USC has already offered. It's really nice to see Lincoln Riley getting aggressive in the transfer portal. And now that you see this, this coaching staff coming together, Matt Entz, by the way, we might have to do a separate episode on Matt Ants fired up about that USC hire. But you take a look at USC getting this defensive staff in, getting their evaluations of guys in the transfer portal that they want and that are going to fit their defense and what they want to do. You're going to start seeing these commitments start to flood in. Dan Lynn, a really, really good coach on the defensive side of the ball, really good talent evaluator. Excited to see who he continues to bring in. But Nate Clifton adding depth adding a lot of talent to that defensive line. Certainly not going to be the last defensive lineman the Trojans bring in, but wanted to hop on, talk a little Nate Clifton. Appreciate you guys always rocking with the boys again. Late night, wanted to update y'all. If y'all did enjoy the content, again, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate all the support, and we'll talk to y'all.